Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I want to show you how to join your celebration corner to corner crochet squares. I am uh, trying to do kind of an easier join on this project since I know we've all been working really hard on each of the blocks, and uh, now I just kind of wanted to do an easy join, something kind of simple. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a color uh, that you want for all of your edges and your joining stitches. Now I've chosen blue just because I felt like I used a lot of this off-white color and I wanted something to really pop and make kind of a statement where the joins were gonna be. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this easy crochet edge around each of our corner to corner blocks. Um, this one's already done and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that on this one, the middle cupcake square. So again, I'm using blue and you can start in my size H hook. You can start anywhere uh, you want on the blocks. I usually kind of pick an edge, a random edge, um, again, anywhere you want. And um, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be working in between each of the squares, the little squares, the your little, your pixels, your crocheted pixels is what I call them. Um, so you're gonna be working along the edges in between each one. So you see here's one, and then here's one. Do you see that? So we're just gonna be working in between those and it'll hopefully make more sense once I get started here. I'm afraid my ball of yarn's gonna roll everywhere as I do this, but we'll just get started and see what happens. So I'm just gonna insert my hook um, between, is I'm picking a random spot and I'm working in between those little squares and I'm just gonna take my yarn, join it in and I'm gonna chain three. One, two, three, okay? Now I'm gonna insert my hook into that next space, single crochet, chain two. Insert my hook in that next space, single crochet, chain two. And I'm just gonna keep going all around the edges, single crochet, chain two. Just between each of these kind of little crochet uh, squares that make up your bigger block. So insert, single crochet, chain two. Insert in the next space, single crochet, chain two. We're just gonna keep going. Single crochet, chain two. Single crochet, chain two. Okay, keep going. I'm almost at the corner and I really wanna show you guys the corner stitch. Okay, I'm almost at my corner, single crochet, chain two. Okay, I have a corner here. I'm just gonna insert my hook as best as I can in that corner, and I'm gonna single crochet, chain two, and come on the other side and insert in that first spot where the first blocks are. Single crochet, chain two. So you kind of make an extra little stitch right in that corner, just to bring you around the bend and then just keep going as usual, single crochet, chain two, in between all these little block spaces. Let me show you guys what this looks like. See how that's working up so easily? And it's pretty easy to tell where you need um, to be inserting your hook. So remember each of these squares are made up of a chain and then, um, well, I used half double crochet for this project. So a chain and half double crochet stitch stitches. So you can kind of see like there's three stitches to each little square.
another corner. So I'm just going to go right in that corner well, as best as you can. Single crochet, chain two. Brings me around to this side and I find that first space. Okay, um, here we are. I'm going to um, join, let's see, let's do this last one, chain two, okay? And now we're gonna join to where we started. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna go back into that first space there. I'm just gonna wrap my yarn into this chain space and just slip stitch to join. So you have a nice clean join. You can barely even tell where you started. And then, Get my scissors, trim this, okay. And then we're just going to weave in these ends. Just weave in the ends the best you can, right into those chains so they don't come unraveled. starting strand in as well. Okay, so trim that. And there we have it. Flat it out so you guys, ooh, let's see if you guys can see this. We have a nice little edge. Okay, you're gonna do that for all of your crochet blocks, all nine of them. And then if you have banners, do that around the banners as well. And then I'm going to show you how to join these um, nice little edges that you've just made together. Okay, let's go ahead and join our crochet blocks together. You have already made um, the initial border around each of the squares uh, or each of the blocks and uh, now I'm going to show you kind of a simple way uh, kind of just like we made this this border um, how to join them so I've already done this piece uh, this is 
I'm not sure what this is called. It's probably a version of the braided join. So I love how it looks on the front. Uh, let's see if I can see how that kind of looks so fun. And then on the back, I mean, it looks nice too on the back, uh, but you'll have more of a ridge on the back side, which is fine. So I've already done this because I wanted to show you how it's going to look. Um, and ideally you'll have, you'll probably have to lay all of your crochet, all of the nine blocks on the uh, ground. And we're just going to continuously join uh, vertically. And then you'll want to join continuously horizontally, hopefully using the same strand of yarn. Uh, so there's less um, ends to weave in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've been doing. So these first two, you're going to lay them, you're going to lay them down um, the front of the, uh, the blocks should be sandwiched together. Okay. So this is the back side, although a lot of these blocks are interchangeable, so it really doesn't quite matter, but, um, all right. So I've already basically done this and you're just going to hold them together and you're going to just crochet and forgive me. I'm just going to kind of finish this off cause I'm going to show you exactly what to do when we get to these, because this will make more sense. So here's my next two. All right, I gotta get my yarn over here. Okay, so I'm gonna sandwich these two together. All right, and I'm gonna hold them up, because I'm basically joining all the way through. And, okay, so I'm just leaving this on this hook coming over here. I'm gonna move my yarn. All right, let's see. Now I got my yarn in the right spot. And we're just gonna single crochet. So you're working under the chain stitches. You're gonna single crochet, chain two, to get you into the next chain spaces, single crochet. Chain two, which will bring me into the next chain spaces single crochet, chain two, into the next two chain spaces, chain two, and so on all the way down. It goes really quickly once you kind of have these all laid out. Really easy join. Okay, so you're gonna just single crochet in between those chain stitches using, see how I'm going through two at once there? Chain two. Single crochet, chain two. Single crochet, chain two. Okay, so it has this nice ridge on the back. I'm gonna flip this over so you guys can see. This will have a better join once you go um, horizontally as well. But let me just show you. Look at that join on the front. So pretty. All right. So I think you guys get the hang of it. Really easy. Another single crochet, chain two, um, with your, you know, with the blocks sandwiched together and go uh, vertically and horizontally and you'll basically have your whole blanket done in no time. Next up is the border. Okay, so let's get started on the border. You should have all of your crochet blocks and your banner uh, joined uh, together and uh, then you can go ahead and work on the border. So I've already done this little part of it. It's really simple. I'm just gonna do a simple uh, single crochet border and what I'm doing is I've just taken the blue. Uh, this is just for my first round of the border and I am loosely uh, making two single crochets in each of these chain spaces, okay? Um, you know, try and keep your tension pretty even, not too tight, uh, just kind of loosely do two single crochets in each of those spaces, except for when you get to the corner you're gonna go into your corner stitch and you're gonna make a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet all in that corner. Okay, 
that'll bring you around the bend and then keep going with your two single crochets if I can get my yarn two single crochets in each of those chain spaces okay all the way around the blanket Okay, so I finished the first round of the border and that was just making two single crochets in each of the chain spaces with blue to match uh, the blue I had already done around the edges of each of the blocks. Now I'm going to continue and you can make as many rounds of single crochets as you like. Um, I am going to do kind of a uh, rainbow, if you will. So I have blue, and now I'm going to do green, and then I'm going to do yellow, and then I'm going to do red. Um, I'm just going to do one round of each, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to do one round of each. And then your blanket's done. Or you could keep going with your border, or you could add on some tassels or some pom-poms. I may add some pom-poms to the corners. Uh, but that's basically it. So I've come to the end of round one. I'm just going to join in my green yarn for the next round. Chain one and then single crochet in each of the stitches all the way around. And I just want to do this for a minute to show you that. When you get to the corner, I'll be there in a second. Okay, so I just want to show you that when we get to the corner, you are going to have that chain two space from the previous round. And you're going to go ahead and do the same as you did before. You're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner. And then just continue by single crocheting in each stitch along the all the edges. And then you'll just do the same for the next corner. See? So it's looking pretty cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. You guys can do the same. Um, continue with your rounds of just single crochets along the edge. Easy peasy.